Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the find camera modifier by class node. So let's say you're going to go ahead and you're going to add camera modifiers. So we'll go ahead and click add. Now we want to remove it. Oops, doesn't work anymore. Well, we never actually stored that camera modifier as a variable. Therefore, we can't remove it later because we need a modifier to remove. Well, this is what our find camera modifier by class node is for. And it's useful if you're using multiple mods and you want to make sure you do something with specific ones that may or may not be there. So the find camera modifier by class node takes in a camera manager and a class that we want to look for. In this case, I'm looking from our camera manager test. And it's going to return back the first instance of the one it finds. So let's plug this in when I click remove. And then we're going to go and plug in the return here. And then we're going to return value here. We'll hit play. We're going to add. And we're going to remove. Add, remove, add, remove. Works great. Keep in mind I said it's the first one though. Let's say we add three of them. Nope. Nope. There we go. So every time you click remove, it's going to find one of them. Again, if there's multiples, it just finds the first one. It gets them all and gives you one. And then returns back that value, the camera modifier object. And then you can do whatever you want with it. Keep in mind, because it's a camera modifier object, you don't have to use the remove. You can do whatever you want with it. It plugs into the disable modifier, the enable modifier, the is enabled modifier. It simply finds one that may be running on the player camera manager and returns back a value. Do make sure you check though, possibly for validity and null check, because if you're looking for one and it doesn't exist, well, it's gonna return back nothing and you wanna make sure you're doing something on a valid object. And that's it. That is what the find camera modifier by class does. Goes off the player camera manager, checks for any classes of camera modifiers that may be running and returns back the first result. 